Hey guys, Dave Anderson here. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be taking on the matchless fire starting challenge. I'm going to do the base challenge of just getting the fire started with no matches. And then I'm going to try to get bonus points. I want to see how many different fires that I can actually do. You guys ready? Stay tuned. First and foremost, I have set up a safe area to build my fires. Let's get started. The first type of fire will be a spark ignited fire, but this is spark ignited direct to flame. First one is going to be pompous grass or fountain grass. All right, I had to set up a little windbreak. Up oh, there it goes. All right, this is cattail. See if I can get it in here without the wind trying to blow it away. Cotton ball, nothing added. Fire! <laughs> All right, this is sisal. Come on, you know you want to. This is jute. Ole! This is an iffy one. I'm not sure if this is going to go, but this is dry grass. Not as dry as what I thought. This is a single sheet of toilet paper and about an eighth of an inch of chapstick. cotton ball and Vicks. Well, this is just chest rub. This part will be spark ignited, not direct to flame that I have to blow into a flame. Try a little char cotton. Fire. Nine volt battery and steel wool. This is how you do it. Done. Flame. 
touch it. Done. Get it off of there. <laughs> If you're into model rocketry, you'll know what these are. And because uh, my launch controllers are so weak, uh, or they're just not working, I'm just gonna use this nine volt. Hopefully this will cook this off nice and easy. There we go. Uh, first one didn't work. Come on! How did that not light? Man, this is so much harder than what I expected. Come on! I gotta get this! That's so difficult. Did I do that one already? Nope, oops. <laughs> Man, I thought this was gonna be an easy one. Easy peasy. This is turning out to be one of the hardest ones. Is that so hard? All right, well, this one seems a little bit fishy to me, but uh, it's to take a wire or, or steel and keep pounding it and bending it until it heats up with internal friction. I am going to preheat this because I know that this will sap all of the, the heat out of this and it will never work. So I'm gonna preheat this a little bit, not, not to igniting temperature, but I'm gonna preheat it. Yeah, that's a bunch of hogwash. I'm gonna call BS on that one. The next type of fire will be solar focused fires, which in my opinion are some of the easiest, but very dependent upon the weather. All right, I gotta hurry before the sun ducks behind the clouds again. flame too. All right, here comes the sun, at least for a little bit. Let's try to get it started real quick before it goes behind a cloud again.
Come on, sunshine. Voila. Good deal. All right, well, I'm gonna show you something else. This is a big, huge salad bowl that I got from Goodwill. Just stainless steel. There's a Goodwill sticker on it right there. Now, what I've gone and done is I've put a nozzle, a barbed nozzle there, so I can put a tube over that and sealed it up. And it's on the inside. And I know that in a circle, if I put a mirrored surface, such as this mirrored uh, film, for uh, making a glass window into a basically a one-way mirror. I know if I put put a vacuum on this that the mirror will concave in and it will create a parabola. And a parabola, if you know that sunlight will come in here, a parabola focuses all that light into one spot, which you know we then built, you got it, a solar death ray. Let's get busy and build it. All right, you ready to be shocked and amazed? Check this out. Fire! <laughs> yeah, it's a little uh, strenuous on the lungs, but you can do it. It works. One more time for non-believers. Yeah. Oh my gosh. The dreaded friction fires. The most difficult type of fire to do, at least in my opinion. Next, friction fire. Last but not least, chemical fires. And be very, very cautious with these. This one is more of a public announcement uh, because this, is, this can be very, very dangerous. And this is about uh, oily rags and combustion in oily rags. So what I'm gonna do is put some oil in these rags. This is gonna take a little while, but it's gonna combust. So a little tip at home, don't mess around with oily rags. Make sure that you dispose of them properly because they can spontaneously ignite.
This is gonna take about maybe four hours. So put, I'm gonna put it in a safe place, but it will ignite. All right, boys and girls, it has been just about three hours. See the smoke coming out of it? All right, we're now at the four hour mark. Here, I was just away for it for a little bit. <laughs> All right, look at that. Oil fire, oily rags. Man, that is something that you do not want to do. That Let that be a lesson to everyone. So why do I take the opportunity and do all of these videos and whatnot? It's not to show anybody up or to show off. I do like to challenge myself. It gives me the perfect opportunity to do just that. But really what I'm hoping for is that you get inspired to take on these challenges. And that's really what it's for. It is for you, the youth. Take on these challenges and get something out of it. Get outside. Until next time when we can do yet another challenge, you guys be safe out there and God bless.